All right, so this is a rake wall, which means the top plate is not a straight line. It's on an angle. So you can see down there, this top plate's on an angle, which also means that the butt ends of both of the plate are also cut on an angle. And in our case, that's a 10 degree angle. 12 and two slope, which means for every 12 inches horizontally, an increase of two inches vertically occurs. So because this top plate is not straight, it also means that every stud that comes up to meet it is not gonna be the same length. They're all gonna be unique. And the angle on which each of the stud is cut uh, matches the angle of the top plate, which is 10 degrees. So it's really important when you make your line to cut that 10 degrees, you know in which direction to go 10 degrees and to keep in mind which direction that results the crown and bow of your wood to face. So it can kind of get a little tricky. But we did this yesterday when we cut the, the top and bottom plate for the opposite rake wall over there. So we kind of just did a two of everything so we wouldn't have to do all the math twice again today. And so yeah, this is the low end. The nine foot eight and 10 foot 11 are end member heights. So yeah, now we're ready to put in our kings and trimmers and cripples since we have the box all framed in. And we've got two windows going in. The top window, which is gonna be in a loft, is a five foot wide window. So that's the king and trimmer for that window. And this is the other king and trimmer for that window. And then down below that window, we have another smaller window, which will be positioned in our bathroom. And here's the king and trimmer and king and trimmer for that window. And here's our center line, which we used to position both of these windows so they're perfectly centered. And then we've got a few cripples thrown in, which will either go up to the top window or the bottom window, depending on where they land. Those are there because of our acoustic sensors? Right. All right, so we can start throwing in our, our studs now. So when we make our angled cut, it will angle down from that point. So that's the 10 degree angle that we're working with. It's not a huge lot, but it makes a difference.
through the wall. We've got the top five foot wide window framed in right here. Cripples above, cripples below. And then I was just standing in the smaller window below. That's two feet wide and three feet high. So everything is nailed together and we're ready to raise it now.